digital FRL features a digital pressure gauge, a calibration torque chart attached directly to the faceplate of the FRL, and the precision instrument grade regulator. To do so, we will prepare the FRL for use by first filling the oil reservoir. Just like I did before, I will install the fitting to the air inlet connection and tighten it. Just like with the analog FRL, we will have to look up the set pressure required to achieve the target torque for this particular tool. Since we're using the same exact torque wrench as before, the set pressure will be 50 psi for achieving 370 foot-pounds of torque. One notable difference between the digital and analog FRLs is that the precision regulator in the digital FRL has a very small constant air leak. That is absolutely normal. Now I will turn on the digital pressure gauge and make sure the units are set to PSI. I will rotate the regulator knob until the pressure reads 50 PSI. Note that the torque wrench does not need to be running in order to set the pressure on the digital FRL. We will use the torque tester again to check the tool output, but this time we will use a different rundown which will simulate a soft joint. The IntelliTorque FRL also features a digital display, but it doesn't require a calibration torque chart as the processor embedded in the unit is capable of converting the air pressure directly into torque units for each specific tool used. Now let's have a look at Torque Fusion's highest performing FRL, the IntelliTorque. As we mentioned earlier, its most powerful feature is the ability to automatically convert pressure units into torque units for the particular tool that is being used. So how does it work? First we will make sure to fill up the oil reservoir and connect the air inlet fitting like we did with the other FRLs. Here we turn it on. In this mode the display shows the output pressure that it is set on. If we want to display torque units rather than pressure, we must upload a specific tool's calibration chart into the IntelliTorque by pairing it with that particular tool. To do that, we place the back of the pneumatic tool into the IntelliTorque receptacle like this. Now we hold down the left button until we're asked if we want to add a new tool. We then press yes. Now that the IntelliTorque has been paired with this GT500 PSS tool, the display will show the torque value corresponding to this particular pressure for this tool. You will also note that the tool model and serial numbers are visible at all times. Now we will set the FRL to produce 370 foot-pounds using the pair tool by turning the pressure knob. We will now use the torque tester to check the tool output using the same soft joint rundown as before. 